everyone and welcome to ProMix Academy. My name is Carlo Libertini and in this video we're going to explore some drum compression tricks here in Studio One Pro. Now I have to be honest with you the whole topic of drum compression is a whole universe in and of itself but I found something in particular in this amazing song that we've been working with in this series of videos that could really help us do some creative compression. So let's dive right in. Now the session again that we've been working with is by the amazing Pete Mraz. I hope I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. And you'll find it on Produce Like a Pro, a multi-track session group 26, and the song is Open Up Your Eyes. So the first thing I wanna do is explain what happened. I was mixing the song and when I was doing some critical listening, I found that one of the tracks in particular had some rhythmic percussive elements that were very, very quiet that I feel were really important and can help move the song along emotionally. And let's take a listen. I'll solo just the drums. Here's a little tip for you. If you wanna get quick access to the group that we made right down here in the bottom left corner, I can open this up and you can see I have a group for all my drums. I can toggle the group on like that. Uh, let's solo the drums. And again, I'm, I don't have a lot of process in going on here at all. Just a little bit of compression and let's see on my drum bus and a little bit of limiting on the master fader to get some over so we don't blow our ears. All right, let's have a little fun. Here's the drum tracks. Wonderfully recorded drums. But listen closely. You hear this um, open snare rhythmic elements going on that could very easily be lost in the mix. So when the other melodic instruments are present, we're hearing basically the boom, ka, boom, ka. Well, I found that those rhythmic elements were right here on our snare top track. Let's solo this and take a listen to this track and you'll hear the ryth rhythmic elements in between the snare hits right here. So the snare hits are relatively loud, of course, but in between them, we've got some really nice percussive natural elements that I feel are getting lost. Well, I want to take those in between elements and really make them shine using some creative compression tricks. Uh, and by the way, if you want to open up a waveform in a dedicated waveform editor here in Studio One Pro, here's a tip for you. Just take the waveform here in the tracks view and double click on it. And there it is. Now you can see that here we clearly have the loud snare drum hits which are way louder than the in-between rhythmic, rhythmic elements that we want to focus upon. So I'm basically going to turn this track into a sort of gallop track. So I want to bring forth that momentum. All right, and let's do just that. All right, now let's see, I have the group off there. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna do some heavy compression to get started with. I'm gonna turn my inserts on here on this track. And right at the get-go, let me bring my fader down here just a little bit to blend that in. Let's, I've inserted Studio One, I've inserted compressor here that's included with Studio One. Now this is an amazing compressor. And like I said, we're gonna do some heavy compression here. So the first thing I wanna do is Keep an eye on some critical listening. I'm going to solo this track so we can specifically just focus on it. And I'm going to loop, let's say just the first few bars of it right there. So we can just focus on listening to what we want to do. Now I wanna lower those snare hits and really bring up the in-between rhythmic elements. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do, obviously, is start with the threshold here. I'm going to really lower this. You can see there's already quite a bit of gain reduction going on there with the loudest hits. But this is this is an application where all of these parameters have to work in concert with each other. Now let's bring our ratio. This is going to do the leveling for us. Let's see. You can already hear them starting to come up a little bit. My knee, I'm gonna leave my knee alone there. And let's go now to the attack here. 
I want to really, I want this to be pretty fast. Now we're losing it. So what I'm gonna do now is raise my makeup gain because obviously we're really squashing this. Now again, do this to taste. There, it sounds kind of like congas in a way, but you can hear that we're really bringing up those rhythmic elements now. Here's before. And here's where we are at the moment. I, could, I can hear already that my release might be a little too short. If I lengthen the release, it may just give me a little more articulation with the attacks. Watch as I lower the release. You can really, really increase as an effect. You hear that? I don't want that. I want more detail. All right, now I'm gonna leave my mix alone. Here's before. And here's after. And then I followed this, I'm gonna follow this one up with the fat channel. This is also included in Studio One Pro here. And we all know what this awesome, world famous compressor is is paying homage to. And first thing I'm gonna do is turn it on. Now, what do I wanna do here? I wanna do a little bit more leveling. And this is a FET compressor. It's very fast, it's very powerful. And I wanna be careful with some of these parameters. Let's start with, um, I'm gonna take the input and go up a little bit and lower the output to about there. But I want my attack to be, yeah. And I think the release, Ew. Now I'm eyeballing these. So let's hear where we are now. Oh yeah. All we're hearing now is the in-between rhythmic elements that we're targeting. Here's before. And here's where we are now. And I'm doing this all with included compressors here that come with Studio One. Now I want to activate my effects send here. I have this going to the mix verb. So I want to take just these rhythmic elements now and we're going to put them in a space. All right, let's have a little fun here now too. I think what we should do is, all right, let's just hear the default one. I don't want any pre-delay, no way. Um, and I'm gonna take my width in a little bit. Let's see. All right. I'm gonna take my mix off, and I think this is gonna be something we're gonna to adjust to taste. Now, let's put this in the mix with the rest of the drums. And this is what we started with right here. Okay, and this is where we are at now. So I'm gonna take my fader down for that. Oops, sorry. undo that volume change. I'll take my group off. Now I'm going to tuck that gallop snare down a little bit. Obviously this is a little too loud here. So I'm going to bring that down quite a bit. Let's go to 6.9. All right, check it out. Let's bring in some of the other instruments now. I'll take the group right there. Oh yeah, okay, so this is before, okay? I'll take the inserts off on the drums. 
<clears throat> and this is what we started with. Really listen to the drums, it's nice. But we targeted those percussive rhythmic elements in there and used some creative compression to bring forth the elements that were in between those snare hits to become part, an important rhythmic part to this track. And here's what it sounds like now. And now we can take our fader for that and adjust the gallop taste. Let's bring in some of the vocals. Let's have a little fun here. Let's hear how, how our mix is developing. I'm gonna adjust the mix verb a little bit to taste here. Have you been to the bottom of the canyon? To the bottom of all alone? Did you ever stop to think? Now again, let me bypass our work on the compressors. Bring it in. Ready? Have you been to the bottom of the canyon? To the bottom of all alone? Did you ever stop to think there's a diamond in the dirt below? So what I feel this is now doing is exactly what I wanted it to do. It's adding movement and emotion. Because if I was the acting producer and I heard that through some critical listening, I mind it out of that performance with some creative compression here using the included compressors here in Studio One. Here's a compressor, beautiful, beautiful compressor, sounds great. And of course we fattened it up a little bit with the Fat Channel XT here. All right, so the best way of course is to always find out for yourself. And my name is Carlo, let's take a listen to this. I'll bring in some more inserts here and let's have a little bit of fun and see how our mix is developing completely have you been to the bottom of the canyon to the bottom of all alone did you ever stop to think there's a diamond in the dirt below it's all And there you have it. My name is Carlo Libertini. Hopefully you got something out of this to inspire you. Don't forget to download these multi-tracks from session 26. Peep and Rose, open up your eyes to try this for yourself. Thank you for watching. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe.